Good evening and welcome to Experiences in the World of the Paranormal. I'm your host, Sardo101, and tonight my episode is on necromancy. Um, I've tried to post this video two times now, and both times it didn't work. So, third time's the charm, right? Well, necromancy is closely related to voodoo, but dates back uh, further than voodoo. Um, voodoo priestesses and priests um, now are more commonly known um, for curses and stuff like that, but down in New Orleans, I'm sure, and anywhere else in that area of America, you'll find people who are afraid of uh, voodoo priests and priestesses practicing necromancy. Um, necromancy dates back to the Night Ages, where kings and queens um, and the church all feared them. Um, necromancers were, well, necromancers, and I guess it'd be the same thing for a female. They were all, um, they were all burned for pretty much the same reasons by everyone. Um, and the church feared them because if you can raise the dead, then it, that would they were afraid that would show that the soul never really leaves the body and that would just prove heaven and hell and kings and queens burned them just out of sheer fear that they would uh, raise raise uh, numerous armies of the dead uh, to do battle with them oh excuse me there um, Webster's also defines a uh, necromancy um, at, uh, someone who pretends to foretell the future through talking to the depart recently departed spirits or a conjurer. Um, and that's from the 1862 edition of Webster. What else can I say? I always get to these little bumps in the road here, you know, so please bear I can't think of anything else to say on that, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you again.